Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 13th of August and this time I'm bringing you an update regarding a Rise of the Tomb Raider. As of course just yesterday we had the rather disappointing revelation that it would be exclusive to the Xbox. And now predictably as I said would happen, although to be honest I didn't think it would happen this quick. It has been confirmed that the launch exclusive on Xbox has a duration, meaning that it is naturally a timed exclusive. Now, this came directly from the Xbox boss, Phil Spencer, who also said that the game will be coming on, X on Xbox 360, as well as the Xbox One next year. Now, this kind of goes against some previous comments from Daryl Gallagher, the head of product development and studios at Square Enix, which seemed to suggest that the game would not be coming out on PC or PlayStation, but of course, Phil has pretty much debunked that. And Phil said, quote, It's not because I'm trying to be a head fake on anybody. It's a deal between us and the partner. People ask me, how much did we pay? There are certain things I'm just not going to talk about because it's a business deal between us and them. Obviously, the deal does have a duration. I didn't buy the IP in perpetuity. Maturity. And he continued by saying, quote, I get the reaction I see. If I'm a PlayStation person, all of a sudden I feel like the franchise is gone. I didn't buy the IP. I didn't buy the studio. It's not mine. Where this thing will go over time, just like Dead Rising or Rise, we'll see what happens with the game. I don't own every iteration of Tomb Raider. I don't own them building Tomb Raider on other platforms. I, talk about the I can't talk about the franchise that way. I can talk about the deal I have. What they do with the franchise in the long run is not mine. I don't control it. So all I can talk about is the deal I have. I don't know where else Tomb Raider goes. So as I said guys it is a timed exclusive we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Now as I said Tomb Raider is traditionally multi-plat especially with the reboot came out on pretty much every platform under the sun so it would be a bit strange for Rise of the Tomb Raider to suddenly go to Xbox exclusively especially after Square's comments regarding the quote-unquote disappointing game sales of this particular title. So I kind of predicted this would happen, I just didn't expect it to literally be the day after the original announcement. But hey ho, it's just one of those things. So we can all breathe a sigh of relief, anyone can play this game. Although it is slightly disappointing to know it's coming out on previous gen, simply because I would like it to really take full use of the next generation technology and for the devs not to have to worry about it running on old hardware. But not to be, I'm afraid, I'm sure it will still be an amazing game and I look forward to seeing it revealed or confirmed or what have you for the PC and the PS4 as well because yeah PC is good Tomb Raider PC was good PS4 Tomb Raider was good Xbox um, Tomb Raider was good so let's just all have it does that sound good all right I'll see you next time